so off. Good morning and welcome back. I hope your summer went well and provided you and your families with many opportunities for enjoyment and relaxation. I know it is hard to believe that on September 8th, we will welcome back almost 7,000 students. Although today's meeting will be different and shortened than the convocations you are used to, I want to have an opportunity to speak with you and wish you the very best in the upcoming year. I always have considered our profession as unique and somewhat envied in that it has a beginning and end starting in August or September and concluding in June. We then are fortunate to have a summer respite to recharge our batteries and then start all over again. No matter when we return, the air is filled with a sense of anticipation, promise and excitement, along with some ten a trepidation of the unknown in adjusting to new situations. It is this cyclical nature that allows educators to begin each school year with renewed excitement, anticipation, promise, optimism, and yes, challenges. And the challenges of educators today abound throughout the country. But I am confident that we will successfully deal with these issues as we have always done, particularly in our last school year. Just think back and reflect for a moment how your expertise, skill, knowledge, and experience turned this district around and set us in a great position to move forward. Some considered 2019-20 a tumultuous and disconnected year with Trumbull Public Schools facing numerous challenges beyond the COVID-19 pandemic and the recent social and racist turmoil. Changing of superintendents mid-year, several administrative resignations and retirements, facing a $1.2 to $2 million budget deficit that was turned around into a 100,000 plus balance, a difficult 2021 budget request that was reduced by more than 2% or $2.2 million, numerous changes in the governor's, commissioner's, and Connecticut State Department of Education's guidelines and protocols, strict federal mandates, revised learning approaches, schoolroom conversions, health and wellness requirements, transportation issues, food service modifications, technology accommodations, graduation concerns, Board of Education member resignation, and special education mandates. Wow, what an intimidating list of obstacles that we did overcome. And we met these problems head on and steered through the, uh, those uncharted waters. Let me be clear about one critical aspect I want to reinforce. The we I keep referencing is you, each and every one of our staff, certified and non-certified, who are partnering to provide our students with the best program possible. As I leave on September 11th, I thank each of you for your continued efforts and responsiveness and want to emphasize to all of you that I am a very proud, fortunate, and appreciative superintendent to work with you and call you colleagues. Trumbull will always be a very special place as I look back on the people I work with and the strides we have made. As you are aware, the Board of Education appointed Dr. Martin Semmel to the superintendency effective September 14th. Marty has worked uh, in Southington, Bristol, and most recently as superintendent of Plymouth, Connecticut. He was most successful, and I am very confident he will be an asset to the Trumbull Public Schools. Marty would like to say a few words. Good morning and welcome back to the start of the 2020-2021 school year. My name is Marty Summel and I will be the superintendent of schools in Trumbull starting on September 14th. When I originally applied for this position back in February, I was unaware of how the COVID outbreak in China would impact the world. Yet we have all watched this endemic grow to a pandemic affecting millions, if not billions, of lives. While I am truly excited to join the Trumbull team, I think we all realize that the seismic shifts we have had to make in education over the past six months have caused great stress and anxiety for our students, our families, and of course, ourselves. I have had the pleasure of being the superintendent of schools in Plymouth, Connecticut, 
not Massachusetts, for the past five years. Before that, I was the high school principal of Southington High School for five years, and I was the principal and assistant principal of Bristol Central High School for nine years. I started my teaching career at South Windsor High School as a math teacher. I have always found that working in collaboration with folks towards common goals is always a far better approach than taking a, making a line in the sand and taking a movable position. Besides a professional educator for the past 24 years, I am also a husband and a father of three. My wife, Jen, works as a NICU nurse, which is the neonatal intensive care unit uh, at the Connecticut Children's Medical Center. And she's also, ironically, in the infectious disease um, center at Connecticut Children's. Two of my daughters go to UConn and they are nursing majors. And my 16 year old son is a junior at Southington High School. To me, family always comes first and is always a high priority. I have been doing my best over the past several weeks to stay focused on the opening of the Plymouth Public Schools while learning as much as I can about the Trumbull Public Schools. You are all aware of the difficulties with the 1920 budget and the significant loss of staff for the 2021 school year. These are real concerns, and I intend to confront them head on and find ways to make sure that the 2021 school year ends in the black and that the 21-22 budget development process identifies and prioritizes the restoration or creation of critical positions. I am not the federal government and therefore cannot print money, but I believe the citizens of Trumbull value education and will do what they can to ensure that Trumbull remains a great place to learn and grow. Of course, what is most on the mind of all staff is the return to school in a few weeks. As an outsider looking in, it seems that the district reopening team and the administration have worked incredibly hard to make sure that the Trumbull Public Schools can open safely. Every school district has struggled with reopening plans. This is because we continue to learn more about the virus and the state officials have been working hard to provide guidance, but this guidance has been coming out throughout the summer. For me, we need to focus on two major concepts this year. First, we need to work on developing strong, positive relationships with our students by attending to their emotional needs. And second, we need to attend to the academic needs of all of our students to ensure that students are meeting the highest priority grade level standards so we don't have a generation of students with significant learning gaps. Furthermore, this pandemic is a health crisis and I believe that we need to continue to look towards the health professionals for guidance and best practice as it relates to school. I welcome you all back. I look forward to meeting every single one of you and getting to know each of you and your stories. I wish you all a terrific beginning to the 2021 school year, and I can't wait to meet you and see you on September 14th. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. We all appreciate your comments at this time. It gives me great pleasure to introduce one of our participants in our journey as we honor, for the first time, our Paraeducator of the Year, and that is Mary Ann Daly from Middlebrook School. Mary Ann joined Trumbull in 2015, and her work with students and staff has been invaluable and quite impressive. Paraprofessionals play a key in our success, and we thank Mary and all of them for their hard work, energy, and nurturing approaches. Mary Ann would like to say a few words. Mary Ann? Hi, I'm Mary Ann Daly. I am very humbled and honored to receive the Trumbull Public School Paraeducator of the Year Award. I am proud to represent all the paraeducators in the town of Trumbull for all their hard work and dedication. It means a great deal to me to be recognized and it wouldn't have been possible without the wonderful support by the staff paraeducators and the administrators of Middlebrook School. They have been outstanding in providing support and helping to strengthen my skills. During my 20 years as a paraeducator, I have always enjoyed working with children. 
I found building a positive environment and mutual respect for each other, along with building trust, helps students be successful with their learning in the classroom. It's important to be a good role model and team player. Over the course of my career, I built a good rapport with the staff and students. As a paraeducator, it is important to be flexible, dependable, and always have a positive attitude. My calm demeanor has played a big role in helping the students transition with ease. I am always eager to embrace new things that benefit the students' learning, thus promoting their independence. I have enjoyed working and communicating with my students' families. It's always wonderful when a student stays in touch and when I can see them flourish in the community. I truly enjoy being a paraeducator. It's fulfilling to watch the students learn and grow. It is so gratifying to know the impact we can make on a student's life, which will contribute to their success now and in the future. As educators, we are all heroes. So I thank you for this opportunity. Be well and stay safe. Thank you, Marianne, and thank you uh, to all of your colleagues uh, in the paraprofessional arena. The final portion of today's mini convocation is always a special part of the op of our opening program is that when I introduce our 2020 Teacher of the Year. I do want to recognize all the individual school semifinalists who excelled at their craft. From that pool of talented individuals, one educator was selected as Trumbull's Teacher of the Year representative. Please remember, we are not attempting to select the best teacher, but rather to identify among many good candidates, one teacher to represent all of us. The individual chosen as a district representative certainly impressed the district selection committee, and I know you will be too. Our recipient, uh, recipient ironically, is also from Middlebrook School. Uh, in fact, she went to Middlebrook School and continued her education throughout uh, her Trumbull years. She has been with us for 14 plus years and has excelled ever since then. Two words describe our selection, and that is a true professional. I give you Kelly Janan. Kelly? Good morning to my wonderful colleagues, administrators, town leaders, board of education members, and my incredible Middlebrook community family and friends. It is with an insurmountable amount of gratitude that I speak to you today. I am truly honored and humbled to be in this position. My name is Kelly Ganand, and I have been a special education teacher at Middlebrook Elementary School for the past 14 years. These years have been full of challenges, laughter, love, tears, learning, and growth. My story with the Trumbull Public Schools did not start when I took this position in 2006. It started in 1989 when I entered Mrs. Sheila Craw's kindergarten class at Middlebrook Elementary School. I was fortunate enough to attend Middlebrook, went on to Hillcrest Middle School, and I graduated from Trumbull High in 2002. I've had the honor and privilege to learn from so many of you who are watching this morning. I can tell you with the utmost certainty that teachers often teach lessons that they may not know are being taught. And I cannot begin to express how thankful I am to have learned so much from so many of you, not only as your student, but also as your colleague. Middlebrook School has a very special place in my heart. And I have to thank our principal, Pat Ferlisi, our special education team, as well as all of the amazing classroom teachers that I am blessed to work side by side with on a daily basis. I stand here today as a representative of the everlasting effect that we have as teachers. My biggest teachers have been my two incredible parents. I have to first thank my father for his steadfast support and unconditional love. He has given me the greatest foundation from which to grow. And my mom, Kit Flanagan, who many of you know from her years teaching the hearts of so many children at Jane Ryan Elementary School. There aren't enough words or enough time in the day to express how thankful I am that you are you and that you are my mom. I will be forever grateful for all that you've taught me, for your love and for the bond that we share. And my husband, Jimmy, who is also an educator, 
Thank you for being the best partner that I could have ever, ever asked for. I love you. Our two children, Molly and Connor, are the light of my life. They are lucky enough to begin their educational careers in Trumbull as well. My daughter just finished two wonderful years at TechEc and will be starting kindergarten at Jane Ryan this year. And now my son will be starting the threes program at TechEc. Despite all that is happening, they are both so full of excitement for this new school year. And it's really hard not to be excited with them. That excitement, curiosity, and love of learning that I see in my own two young children is what drives us as teachers to do our best day in and day out for our students. Even in the midst of such turmoil, I am hopeful that we can continue to do what we do so well, put our students first. They need us. They need our comfort, our humor, our love. They need to know that we care. As a special education teacher, I have seen how a little extra kindness, patience, and understanding can help move so many of our students towards success. I try to instill confidence and a love of learning in my students during our time together, reminding them always to implore a growth mindset by using the power of yet. Although they may not understand th something yet, with instruction, hard work, and time, we can overcome challenges together. I'm trying my best to apply this in my own life now. With such uncertainty looming over our families and our jobs, it's important to remember that in times when we are least comfortable, we make the most growth. Despite what we're all facing, I would like to share one of the most impactful messages that I've received during my career with all of you. A colleague of mine who I was fortunate to have as a mentor, co-teacher, and friend retired this past June and shared this message over a Zoom meeting celebrating her incredible teaching career. Keep your door open, Eileen Paquette said to all of us. I love this message and I've had time to reflect on it in order to share what it means to me. Although it's a simple gesture, it symbolizes so much more than that physical act. Keeping your classroom door open is a wonderful invitation to colleagues around the school that you are open and willing to collaborate and share on a daily basis. Teachers who have been in the field for years, I ask you to keep your door open. Be open and willing to collaborate with younger teachers fresh out of college with new ideas and a new perspective. In turn, our newest teachers should also be open and willing to listen and learn from the countless experiences of veteran teachers who fulfill wisdom and advice. Keep your doors open. We all have so much to contribute. And when teachers collaborate, meet in the middle and learn from one another, magic happens in a school community. Not only do the students benefit greatly, but the teachers themselves do as well. We cannot do this alone and we certainly cannot make it throughout through this year without one another. As a special education teacher at the elementary level, a huge part of my job is to connect with classroom teachers in a collaborative, meaningful way in order to best instruct our shared students. I can't express the amount of gratitude that I have for the colleagues that have allowed me in their rooms, who have trusted me and enabled me to learn and grow. Communication is key in these relationships. Let us all strive for open communication, especially this year, so that we can continue to move forward on our journey as lifelong learners. Connection and creating relationships between and among all members of the school community, including all of our paraeducators, secretaries, custodial staff, kitchen staff, and security guards is essential. These relationships build an atmosphere where people belong and strive to do their best, not only for themselves, but also for those around them. Keeping our doors open in a metaphorical sense is just as important, especially in the current state of the world in times when it seems that there is nothing certain and no one has any definite answers. Our minds and hearts are being pulled in so many new, unbelievable directions. Beginning a year that promises to test and push every single individual involved can be extremely frightening. This is the exact time when we need to open the doors of our hearts, the ones that got us into this wonderful vocation to serve and educate children, collaborate and share with colleagues. We need to create camaraderie in any way possible lift each other and our students up. When we lift others up, we rise ourselves. We are working harder than we've ever worked before in ways that we weren't prepared for and in many cases under circumstances that are likely the opposite of our controlled, routine classroom environments. However, we can rise up by staying positive, keeping perspective, reminding ourselves and our colleagues to focus on the good, on the reasons why we do what we do. 
There are so many differing opinions, strong feelings, scary, uncharted waters, but we must not lose sight of our purpose, even on the toughest days. I urge each of my fellow colleagues to remember that every word you say matters. Every interaction you have impacts those around you, and we all need one another. Keep your door open. Keep your heart and mind open. Remember why you are here and rise up by lifting everyone around you. I hope you all have a happy, healthy, safe, successful start to the school year. Thank you so very much and good luck in the state uh, competition. Again, the ship is leaving the dock. Our 10 month voyage lies ahead. And in June, we will return to port. There is no doubt in my mind that 2020, 2021 will be a successful journey in which the Trumbull Public Schools will thrive and grow. And that is because of all of you. Thank you and be safe.